In this video, we are going to discuss about PN junction diode. A PN junction diode is one of the simplest semiconductor device and which has characteristics of passing current in only one direction. However, unlike a resistor, a diode does not behave linearly with respect to the applied voltage as diode has an exponential current voltage relationship and therefore we cannot describe its operation by simply using an equation such as Ohm's law. In the previous video, we had discussed about different types of semiconductor material, P-type and N-type semiconductor material. In this video, we are going to discuss about PN junction diode. But before we start, if you like the video, then click on like button and drop your comment. And to watch more videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel Electrotech CC. The PN junction is possible to manufacture a single piece of semiconductor material either germanium or silicon, one half of which is doped by P-type impurities, which is also known as tetravalent impurities like gallium, indium or aluminium. and other half by n-type impurities which is also known as pentavalent impurities like antimony, arsenic or phosphorus. The plane is divided into two parts is called as p-n junction. Note that a useful p-n junction cannot be produced by connecting p-type material to n-type material by welding because this would give rise to discontinuous across the crystal structure. During the formation of PN junction, following two phenomena take place. First one, a depletion layer is set up on the both sides of the junction. And the width of depletion layer is approximate in micrometer. Second one, the junction or barrier potential VB is developed across the junction whose value is about 0.3 volt for germanium and 0.7 volt for silicon. When PN junction is placed as a semiconductor device, it is called as PN junction diode. Now next one point that is formation of depletion layer in PN junction diode. So let us start. At the instant when PN junction formed, holes are still in the P region and electrons in the end region. Therefore, greater concentration of holes in the P region than in the N region. The concentration of electrons in the greater in N region than in the P region. Holes diffuse from P to N region and electrons from N to P region and terminate their existence by recombination. This recombination of free and mobile holes and electrons produce the narrow region at the junction is called depletion layer. This depletion layer has small potential difference. Only fixed rows of oppositely charged ion on its two sides. So electrical potential Vb is established across the junction even when the junction is not connected to an any external source of EMF. This potential difference is called junction potential or barrier potential. At room temperature of 300 degree Kelvin, Vb that is barrier potential is about 0.3 volt for germanium and 0.7 volt for silicon. This value is depends on the doping density, electrical charge and temperature. Now the next point is the process of formation of PN junction. So let us start. Holes of P side diffuse into N side, combined with free electrons, and free electrons from N side diffused into P side combines with hole. Diffusion current decays exponentially both with time and distance from the junction. Due to departure of free carriers from the both side of the junction, a depletion layer is formed. It contains only immobile and fixed ion of opposite charges. 
thus uncovered by fixed iron set up a potential barrier across the junction the potential difference opposed the diffused of free majority charge carrier from one side of the junction to the other till the process is completely stopped the width of depletion layer depends on doping level for heavy doping the width of depletion layer is very small now next one that is construction of pn junction diode a two terminal device consisting of pn junction formed either in germanium or silicon crystal p type region cold anode n type region cold cathode arrowhead indicates the conventional direction of current flow when forward biased low and medium current diode are usually mounted by soldering their leads to the connecting terminals high current stirred mounted diodes generates large amount of heat now let us discuss the vi characteristics of pn junction diode so let us start with forward characteristic in forward characteristic pn junction is connect with external power supply in the forward characteristics anode terminal is connected with positive terminal of battery and cathode terminal is connect with negative terminal of battery so it is called forward bias it permits easy flow of current across the junction both electrons and holes are driven toward the junction where they recombine the movement of electrons to the left and hole to the right of the junction constitutes a large current flow through the semiconductor forward current rises exponentially with the applied forward voltage at room temperature a potential difference of about 0.3 volt is required to flow the current through the junction this voltage is also known as threshold voltage or cut in voltage The value for silicon junction is about 0.7 volt. For applied voltage is less than threshold voltage, the flow of current is negligible. But if we increase the applied voltage greater than threshold voltage, then forward current increase sharply. So this is a forward bias characteristics. Next one that is reverse bias characteristics. In the reverse characteristics anode is connected to negative terminal of the battery and cathode terminal is connected to positive terminal of battery so holes are attracted by the negative battery terminal and electrons by the positive terminal of the battery so that both hole and current moves away from the junction and away from each other so there is no electron hole combination and no current flows and the junction offers high resistance so the width of depletion region is increased because majority charge carriers are pulled away from the junction it increases the potential barrier there is practically no current due to majority charge carrier but small amount of current in microampere due to the flow of minority charge carrier and this current is known as reverse saturation current or leakage current of pn junction so this is a all about vi characteristics of diode the next point that is ideal diode an ideal diode may be defined as two terminal device which conducts with zero resistance when forward biased and appears as an infinite resistance when reverse biased such a device act as short circuit that means no voltage drop in forward direction and as an open circuit with infinite voltage drop in reverse direction an ideal diode as bistable switch which is closed in the forward direction and open in the reverse direction that means an ideal diode work as bistable switch in which it is closed in forward direction and open in the reverse direction hence it has two stable state first one that is on and second one that is off but the real diode does not conduct in forward direction with zero resistance neither it offer infinite resistance in the reverse direction but in forward direction forward current does not start flowing 
until the voltage applied to the diode exceeds its threshold voltage VTH. The real diode is equivalent to an ideal diode in series with small opposite connected battery of EMF VTH. In reverse direction, an actual diode or a real diode does not have infinite resistance in the reverse direction because it will always have some reverse saturation current below the breakdown. Now let us discuss the diode rating and some specification. So let's start with peak inverse voltage which is also known as peak reverse voltage or reverse breakdown voltage. It is a maximum reverse voltage of the diode. Next one that is average forward current. Average forward current is the maximum steady state forward current which is denoted by IFM or IF max. It is a current which is the diode can safely handle continuously. Next one parameter that is forward surge current. That means large current which a diode can safely take for a very short time. Next one parameter that is maximum forward voltage. Maximum forward voltage is the diode that can without burn out. Next one that is power dissipation. It is a given the maximum power that the diode can safely dissipate on a continuous basis in free air at 25 degrees Celsius. And last one that is reverse recovery time. The most important parameter in the diode that indicate the maximum time taken by the device to switch from on to off state. Last one point that is application of diode. The main application of semiconductor diode in modern electrical circuitry is given as the diode is used as power or rectifier diode. They convert AC current into DC current for DC power supply of electrical circuit. Second one that is used as signal diode in communication circuit for modulation and demodulation of small signal. Senna diode is used in voltage stabilization circuit. Next one that is Varector diode. Varector diode is used in voltage control tuning circuit in radio and TV receiver. Many diodes are used in logic circuit in the computer. So in this video we discussed about basic concept of diode. In the next video we will discuss about rectifier circuit with the help of diode. Thank you.